The greatest secret of Amiibo training may have just been revealed. Buckle up. As you know, Amiibo are just spreadsheets of values that the game interprets to tell how to play. Certain values do certain actions. Some values, like the forward smash value, the down special value, directly control how often that Amiibo chooses to use that option. Other values are less specific and apply more towards behavior and the decisions that the Amiibo makes. We found an Amiibo glitch that tended to make these Amiibo go haywire, and their values went haywire as well. You're watching it on B-roll footage right now. It's the SSST glitch. I didn't name it. Basically, this puts you into squad strike and you scan in one Amiibo to two different slots so it can learn from itself, which is what you're watching. SSST is weird because it seems to affect behavior values that you wouldn't expect to have any sort of impact on training. These are the item values. Now the other day I did an SSST Pichu, I'm just gonna call it the Pichu from now on, and this Pichu for some reason ended up using Thunder a lot. That's actually a big, big deal. We've always had a very hard time getting Pichu to use Thunder properly, or at least usefully in some way. So somehow having a Pichu that could use Thunder after using a glitchy experimental method was kinda nuts. And a lot of people got interested into this, they started researching. We're talking a couple dozen trainers. This was unique not because Pichu could use Thunder, there were a few Pichus that could technically input down B, but it was never helpful or useful for them. This was different because this Pichu actually used Thunder smartly, and that, yeah, no, that's a word, and frequently, okay? I'm gonna pop up a diagram, show you some footage. You'll notice whenever the opponent is above Pichu and could hit, get hit by the cloud hitbox, Pichu can use it. That wasn't a thing that happened before, and it's something that the Pichu Amiibo has been sorely lacking in. So I passed around my Pichu bin file to a lot of different trainers, each of whom tried to figure out exactly what made it tick and why it was suddenly using this behavior. Because if Pichu could do this, this would give him access to a powerful anti-air, which is something he's been sorely lacking in the Amiibo meta and it gives him extra KO power. We're potentially seeing the equivalent of an AI update to Pichu simply because we figured out something about the AI. So they got to work. After verifying that, yeah, my Pichu used Thunder more than normal, they peeled away enough layers to find out that two specific bites were what was causing this to happen. There were a lot of researchers involved in this, but a couple days before recording, an amiibo trainer named Nerf figured out two bytes did this. The two bytes are called item shooter and carrier breaker in the game's code. You'll see them if you know how to edit amiibo bin files. If not, we're working on a tutorial for that for the website. Here's why this is completely mind-shatteringly insane. We have always assumed that the item values were only affecting how the amiibo behaved around items. We don't do amiibo tournaments with items, and we've never trained with items. So we never had a reason to mess with the item values. Because why would something like, I don't know, Dragoon Collector impact how your amiibo plays when there's no Dragoon on the stage? But they do. It turns out that to raise the item shooter value, this is weird and silly. According to Hector the Dragon, and this has been verified, you can fire the Rage Blaster item repeatedly across several matches. It takes a lot of shooting to do that, but if you can jack up your item shooter value on Pichu up to 100 out of 100, and then you can lower the carrier breaker value, by throwing lots of containers in several matches, I realize this sounds silly, all the way down to zero, Pichu will start to use Thunder. I realize this sounds completely insane, but this has been reproduced by several trainers already. Now most people reasonably think it sounds nuts and they haven't tested it out yet, and I get that. But we're also finding that by changing item values on other amiibo, it actually affects a lot of their smaller, more human-like decisions. There's gonna be more content on this down the line. One theory that I've seen thrown around is that it'll also change how Pichu recovers. See, the Pichu amiibo 
doesn't recover to the ledge most of the time. He recovers over the ledge, which leaves him very vulnerable, gets him a lot of KOs. If we get a Pichu amiibo that can recover to the ledge and also use Thunder, this could boost him in the meta. But more importantly, the fact that item values have been affecting Amiibo AI this whole time, and that we haven't taken advantage of them to further explore what Amiibo AI is capable of, and that it seems like this previous Amiibo AI issue is actually not an AI issue at all, but a training problem that we had, this blows the roof off of the Amiibo meta and what could be possible. We legitimately do not know what we have been missing this entire time, and it's all because we had this weird Amiibo glitch that fixed what we thought was an Amiibo glitch. If you want to see how this plays out in the following months and years, now is the time to get involved in Amiibo tournaments. Maybe you don't have the tech to get an Amiibo bin file and enter a USAC Amiibo tournament, but there's a Discord server, it's actually the second longest running Amiibo Discord server if I remember correctly, called SUAL, S-U-A-L, link in the, in the description. I really recommend them, I did a lot of SUAL uh, weeklies back in the day. They kind of feel like melee weeklies, you know? Sort of that OG, everyone's like kind of chill with each other vibe. You know, you get to see what people are up to. It's really great. I recommend Suel. Uh, I think RapJM runs it now. So go give him a shout. Tell him.